Good morning! I just checked and the video that I started to upload yesterday is still at 74%. It's taking longer than 13 hours so far. And what can I do? I know what I can do. I can make today's video shorter so that you don't have to spend too much time on watching them. Mm -hmm. This is my live guidebook or one of them. This is by Shinya Hiromi, the famous doctor. I love. Well, I don't love the doctor, but I love his advice. Not 100%, but let's say 98%, which is a lot. You see, you have role models in different areas of your life. Angela is my role model in, in discipline. Uh, the current leader of Thailand, the Ponek Prayut Janal Shah, he is my role model in public speaking. He talks in front of a huge audience um, like like we are like we are his children, like we are his family. It just feels so right. Even me, a foreigner in this country, but when I listen to his speech, I feel that he's talking to me, and that in that in that way, he is my role model. And this is my role model, Shinya Hiromi, when it comes to healthy lifestyle. He doesn't only talk about diet, and he doesn't say don't do that, don't eat that. He's very subtle. He explains everything in a very scientific way and it makes sense. And when you have an idea, it's like, okay, because this makes sense, I'm going to make a conscious decision not to do that. Although it doesn't say that you shouldn't do that. It's almost like your own decision. I think that is the art of persuading people when they realize that the idea is their own. Although it was... Uh, hinted by somebody who knows what they're talking about and he really does know what he's talking about because he is he is born in 1935 i think right let me have a look so he must be quite old now and last yeah 1935 that's older than my grandma and grandma is 76 so he that is old wow still working. Hey, America, Japan, still treating cancer patients and and people who are desperate for a change and to live too. Now, this is what I do with books. I pick a book that I like or or it can be an article and I highlight it. I highlight the sentences. And this was done probably four or five years ago, maybe more. Not sure, but quite a while back. Now why? So I can go back to it and remind myself of what I read every now and then. And yes, I do remember what is in the book generally, the idea, but these little lines, certain lines that inspired me, that that sort of rung the bell. It's like, Lena, ding ding! This is what you need to know. This is so true. Highlight it. Because Later, when you go back to it, it will inspire you and will give you this extra motivation and extra strength. And um, yesterday on line, line timeline, I shared with you this page and I translated it to English. So that will benefit you as well, hopefully. I think that's a good idea to highlight stuff in the book because, you know, we all have the right books at home. We read them at some stage and we thought, yeah, that's excellent, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, or uh, what else is there? The famous books, the best sellers. Yes, that's good, that's great, great idea. And this is where it stops. You don't put it into action. If you don't put it into action, why waste the time reading it if it's not going to benefit you in practical terms, like in your life, if you're not going to use it? might as well not read it just to think that yes yeah, it was a good book great can't quite apply it to my life but hey we need to think and we need to try and try and try conscious effort discipline and persistence being consistent try it once fail try again fail try the third time half failed keep on trying and you get there and if you're sure that you like the direction, you, you want to get there in the end and nobody gets there from that one first try. I 
I'm, let's say, very lucky <laughs> and there's a cable car going up, but usually it's a hard walk up when you think, like, oh, I'm going to give up and flow back, like the book theory. So, this is my advice. With your good books that you have at home, with all these super nice, uh, useful advice in different areas of life, highlight it and keep it and go back to it every six months or every year and remind yourself that this is the good information. I used to write it out and stick it to the wall. And um, first I did it with post-it notes. That's probably seven, eight years ago, but the post-it notes, they don't look very pretty after a year. So I made special cards of cardboard and hung them up on little strings. And they're solid and they stayed with me for years. And in the end, when I was moving from Korea, I had to check them all out, but I read them and I thought, wow, I'm following all of these rules. Well, except maybe one or two, which were a little bit extreme, <laughs> but I'm still following them like 80%. And, and that is really good to know. It didn't take much effort. They were just there in front of my eyes every day and they helped. They helped because in the end I said, well, I am following those rules, but like four, five years ago, eight years ago, they used to seem ridiculous. Like I could never do this to that sort of extent. Like, wow, I wonder who can do this. Other people, I'm sure, can, but I cannot. And it had pictures of poses, yoga poses, that like I want to get there. And um, but mostly words that I promised myself not to do this or to do this or to do that. And hey. It does work, but it doesn't. It's not gonna bring you any changes after three months, or six months, or even a year. It needs to be there for years. And good changes that take time. Everything in life is gradual, be it down gradual or up gradual. It's still gradual. There is no jumps. And jumps are not good because everything takes time to evolve and adapt, right? Now, why am I holding the book? First, because I wanted to show you that highlighting stuff and going back to it is a very logical, structured way to update your memory and say, Lena, do you remember this phrase that you really liked a few years ago and you following this? And yes, yes, I am. Good. Well, just... It's not going to take much of your time to, to read through the book and see all the highlighted sentences, maybe about 10 minutes and you're done. Okay, that's, that's a deal. I can spend 10 minutes on it. Now, this little clause was, um, before you take the medicine, before you take any medication prescribed by any doctor, think about the cause. And every effect has a cause. Anything that happens now was caused by something. Was it your lifestyle? Was it was it your habits was it the environment but it is caused by something if somebody gets angry something made them angry if somebody's smiling something made them smile be it inside outside be it you or another person there's always a cause if the doctor prescribes you a certain medication it is because something has caused your problem and because diseases most of the diseases they do not happen out of the blue and um, take a time, take their time to develop into a disease from from unnoticeable problems like a lack of a certain vitamin or the f a lack of exercise or lack of movement, whatever, or or the wrong habit. You don't notice it at first. You don't even notice when it's halfway there. You only notice it when you go and check, and suddenly which isn't really suddenly you see the result and the doctor says well here is the magic pill whatever it's called you don't even remember it's in a little sachet and you're going to take it to solve the problem but you're not really solving the problem because what originally caused the problem is still not recognized by you and if it is not recognized it is going to keep on causing the problem like with the father here who has high high fat in the in the blood and he was given the medicine he was taking the medicine father what is causing you the problem what why did that happen 
I don't know. The doctor said it must be the food. Father, what sort of food? I don't know. Oily food? Father, you just had f um, deep fried fish for for lunch. Do you think that is oily food? So I don't know. It's not. It's not pork. It's deep fried fish. Well, you have to realize and totally understand the cause, then you can avoid the problems in the future or avoid the problem reoccurring, right? Or avoid the problem not going well, making it worse even. With certain types of behavior, with relationships, with um, patterns you make, mistakes you make in your life, with business and, and so on, and with health as well. If you do not know what caused problems, what caused unpleasant fights in the relationship, you will never go over those fights, you will never go over the problems. And what does it take to solve the problem? What does it take to trace it back? Thinking using your brain and not, not relying on anything else, thinking because nobody knows you as well as you do. So you know your habits, you know what you ate, you know what you did, you know what you said to your wife and what didn't feel quite right, what started that little, little seed of tension which grows into a bigger seed of tension into a tree and then you can't pull it out of the ground, it has roots and so on, it's a lot more difficult to rip it out. <laughs> more, more difficult to rip it out than a little seed when you have it when you have a little seed, it's easy to eliminate, eliminate, right? It's easy to to get rid of. But when you are, when the tree is too big already, it's, it takes a lot of effort and a lot of pain to rip it out with the roots. With health, it doesn't have to get to the high blood pressure level or or cancer level or I don't know diabetes level. If you if you identify the seed like yes I notice that I eat more sweets than other people I notice that I like sweets more than other people I I notice that I eat a lot of white rice hmm now what is it going to lead to you go get a blood test you are still within normal limits at that stage but you have de developed a habit which is going to get you out of the normal limit zone and this is when it gets dangerous because it accelerates. Whoa! So remember, before you take any medicine, trace to the cause. And not only with health, but with everything else. Remember what the cause was. If you don't remember what the cause was, try to think about what caused a certain problem. As obvious as it might sound, not everybody thinks of why you're having fights with your close ones the ones close to you. Why are you having problems in a certain area of your life? Why are you having certain health problems and so on? Why not research it? What can be more interesting than researching somebody you really know well? That is the dear beloved you. Hmm. Did I say I'm going to keep it short? Well, 13 minutes is kind of short. We had a 45 minute video the other day, so... Juice time it is, while the power is still on. Mm.